What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally won our first badge with, you know, our makeshift team, and uh, like I said in the last episode, there's going to be a, a few surprises here and there, some new things. Uh, one of which is that I added three new Pokemon fruit to our team, Poliwag, Kabuto, and Scyther. Now, these are some Pokemon that I actually captured in my previous uh, journey in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Again, these guys are not going to be permanent on my team. They're just, you know, support and everything. So if you guys have any suggestions on what Pokemon I should have on my team, comment down below. Again, all these Pokemon, not permanent. I'm just you know, doing it because of whatever. Now, first thing is first, somebody on the comment sections told me, put on some new threads for my Pokemon and myself. So, that is going to do, or that is exactly what we're going to be doing right here. So, let's go ahead and change it up. Uh, sports cap. All right, so Pikachu, of course, is going to have a sports cap right there. And clothes, that's right, we're going to be matching. And that is pretty much it right there. And look at that. Pikachu has... Uh, gotten his own threads right there so now we're gonna be moving on to the next area right here off screen I did buy a buttload of pokeballs because I could now we're down to four bucks literally four bucks now if you talk to this kid he's gonna look at you he's like oh wow that's a what was it that's a boulder badge you got it from Brock didn't you when you get a new gym badges more items become available to you in the Pokemart which is true by the way the Pokemart is in that blue building Pokemarts are in lots of, in, of towns, though you should probably already knew that. You probably already knew that, huh? Yes, I did. Okay, so one thing that I wanted to share you guys to uh, share to you guys is this. If I shake my other controller, actually, hold on. Turn it on, and if I shake it, bam! I got myself a Poke Partner right here. So let's go right ahead and walk with our partner and we are actually going to be enabled to actually play uh, double battles right here so what I'm gonna do right now I'm actually gonna move my Pokemon right here and I'm gonna go with Scyther now there is a level 20 limit to our Pokemon right here so let's see what happens talk to this girl excuse me you looked at me didn't you yes I did so instead of a one-on-one -on -one battle now we're having a two-on-one -on battle right here and I think we actually have a, a distinct advantage. I, I think our Pokemon get more leveled up. I don't know. Comment down below. So there we go. Bam! Look at that. Our Pokemon are together once again. And so I'm going to go with a quick attack right here. And let's go with a Scyther. And wow. Doesn't even have any good attacks right now. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Scyther being fast. Faint attack. Nearly takes out this Pokemon, and of course, here's that quick attack for the win. Look at that. And look at that. And all our Pokemon are getting experience points as well. Look at that. So, one of the big reasons to why I have... Well, I'm doing this with another trainer right now. is just to show you guys what you can actually see. Uh, here's another thing, too. I'm actually going to be switching out my Pokemon because... Yeah, didn't think this one through right here. So let's go right ahead and go with uh, Pidgey right now. And there is a trainer up here. He does have a significant... Uh, he does have a, a special significance. Oh, you're a new trainer. I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. I'm one of them. We coach trainers are strong, if I do say so myself. If you want to try your strength, you should definitely battle us. So coach trainers right here are definitely strong and then at the end of the battle I believe they will actually give you more more of items you look like someone who wants to try out their own strength do you want to have a Pokemon battle with me as a coach trainer yes okay here I come uh, let's go so here comes a two-on-one battle and uh, we are challenged by coach trainer Kareem Adul Jabbar and here he comes out with a Bulbasaur hmm okay alrighty so here we go Two-on-one battle. It's not fair, but guess what? I do what I want. Let's go with a quick attack right here, and let's go with a flying-type attack. Look at that. Oh, yes. This is going to be awesome. Quick attack for the win. And here comes a gust attack. Oh, my God. Nearly beats this guy, and here comes a vine whip. Oh, damn. So here we go again. Another quick attack. 
And for Pidgey right here, let's go right ahead and use that Gust Attack again. So there we go. Finish this guy off with a Quick Attack. Suck on those lemons, Bulbasaur. <laughs> Look at that. And everybody gaining experience. Now, there is one little problem with Poliwag. Can't, I can't rename him Poliswag. I know, I know. But eventually, we're going to be switching out these Pokemon. So no worries whatsoever, guys. So after defeating this guy, he's like, You defeated a coach trainer! Just like that! In honor of your strength, I have a gift for you. And we get ourselves a revive, which is nice. Revives will heal a Pokemon that's been knocked out, something that a potion can't do. Be sure to use them wisely! Alrighty, let's go. And I have to be very ambidextrous with this whole thing right here, so... Hey, my shorts are cool, right? You can stare at them. The short shorts play a trainer. So yes, I am playing with two two uh, controllers instead of one, and I don't know why, but this seems a little bit funner than just playing one player and all that stuff. And as you can see, bam! Now we're getting double the battle right here, and your support trainer has Pidgey. Alright, no need to use Pidgey and all that stuff. But guess what? Let's go right ahead and use a Gust Attack, just to, for shits and giggles right here. So here we go. There we go, Spiro has been destroyed. Look at that. Oh my god, oh my god, and oh my god. He doesn't like it. And we're getting Pokeballs along the way, guys, so that's also good right here. So let's go back down right here, and we're going to be finding an item right there. And hold on just a sec. Found ourselves a potion, which is good, and then there's nothing right there. But here we have another item. Found ourselves three Pokeballs, and let's see, there's nothing else right here. Okay, so we're just going to be running along. And yeah, I'm a little faster than my, my support trainer right here, so... <laughs> it's a little weird just playing two players and all that stuff all by myself. And here we have another one. I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught! Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. So here we go, you are challenged by Captor Camper Victor, and he will be coming out with a Nidoran male. Alrighty. Bring it. Look at this. Oh, yes. That's right. Okay, so let's get this whole thing going with a Thundershock. And, uh, well, another thing that I just realized, too, guys, in this game is that none of the Pokemon here have their effects just like in previous other games. It's just a straight up Pokemon battles and then go. So if you were to physically hit Nidoran Male, you won't get poisoned. Trust me on this one, guys. And everybody's getting levels. I kind of just want to fill the Pokédex. That's all I want to do. Kind of. I don't know. But we got two Great Balls out of this whole Pokémon battle. And, well, let's continue on right here. And look at that. We found Grass, but another trainer. Now, you will be able to find some rare Pokémon here, too. Eek! Did you touch me? Nope. Did not touch you. Okay, so let's go again. Another Pokemon battle against Picnicker Robin, who thought that I touched her. And here she comes out with a Nidoran female. Oh my god. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. Bring it. Thundershock again, and my female trainer right here is just gonna, you know, she's gonna do the same thing over and over and over again. So let's go. Thundershock for the win. Nope. Here comes the Gust Attack. Yes. All in one turn makes it so much easier for me to just move by. Look at that. Everybody gaining points. And we defeated Robin. Yes, that is it. And two more Great Balls, too, which is great. Great! Okay, so let us move on right here. Is there an item? No. I see something right there. There it is. We found ourselves a lure, which, of course, will lure any kind of Pokemon around you for about maybe 20 minutes or so. I could be wrong. And here we go. Hey, I like shorts! They're comfy and easy to wear! Wow, you're wearing shorts too! Alrighty. Bring it. So here we have another battle, and it's Youngster Ben wanting to challenge us, and here he comes out with a Rattata. Or a, 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 a Rattata, or however you guys like to say it. I don't care. I say it the way I want to. So here we go. Let's get this. Double kick. And we're going to be going straight to Pidgey's uh, Gust Attack right here. Right now, I'm just, just I'm just trying to train my Pokemon right here. And, well, eventually, they'll be at a better level. Can't really use Kabuto because, yes, it is uh, at level 22. Don't want it to gain more levels because then it will disobey me. And look at that. Smasher grows to level 8. 
and Poliwag grows to level 8, and it's learning Hypnosis, which is a very, very good move right there. Yes, you don't believe it. You got your butt kicked. Alrighty. Let's move on right here. And there's another trainer. Is there's nothing? Uh, okay, let's battle this guy. Hey, are you a trainer? Let's get right to it. Paraphrasing. You gotta love it. Alrighty, so here we go. Bug catcher Greg wants the battle, and he's going to come out with his Kakuna right here. Look at this guy. Alrighty. Let's do this. Let's win this. Here we go. Thundershock for the win, and here we go for... What was it? Gust attack. Let's do this. Thundershock. Takes out Kakuna, which is great. Awesome. Look at that. And here we go with more experience points. And Greg, not so happy. I hope we... Hold on, I gotta see how much money we've gotten because... Of course, we're gonna be needing that money for something else. And, well... Okay, we got plenty of money. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Right here, and... Well, there's nothing right there, so we're just gonna be running. And there is a Mankey right away right there. And let's see, I'm reading... Well, I can't read this with my support trainer. And let's see, Route 3, Mount Moon ahead. And, well, there will be some interesting Pokemon right here, like Mankey, which I will be catching at off screen. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, let's see what he has to say. Whew! Just taking a little rest here. That tunnel and from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. It should. It does. Okay, so let's see. Here's another uh, trainer, challenge trainer, or coach trainer, yes. Hey, hello there. I'm a coach trainer at your service. Do you want to train a bit before taking on Mount Moon? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All righty. So here we go. Another battle against another coach trainer right here. And he will be coming out with his Meowth. Look at that. Strong little Meowth. So let's go. Let's get it. Two on one. Doesn't seem very fair, but guess what? Seems fair to me. Alrighty. And let's go with a quick attack right here. Alrighty. Quick attack. Does it do it? No. But here comes the double kick. And there we go. We take care of that. Say goodbye to Meowth. <laughs> so easy. Look at that, look at that, and look at that. Poliwag rose to level 9, and Oberon has been defeated. Yeah, that's a pretty cool name, by the way. And let's see, that was a great battle. Take this as a thanks. We get ourselves TM57, Payday. TM57 uh, is the move Payday. It's a move that will scatter money around that you, you can pick up later after, uh, for a little extra pocket money. It's pretty cool. Very, very cool. And, well, let's see... I don't think there's anything extra right here. Just checking, uh, I'm just getting the lay of the land right here. So, here we have another trainer, and we have a few people. Ouch! I tripped over a Geodude line on the ground. Well, that kind of sucks. And, well, let's grab this item right here. We got ourselves an escape rope. Something very much needed. And if you talk to this guy, I came out of Mount Mood from a far away, uh, uh, from far, or from far away because I want Pokemon I can ride on. That's right, you can ride a certain Pokemon like Onyx. Mm, true. Very, very true. Okay, so one last thing right here, guys, and that is that there is an individual right here that you can actually do something with. Hold on just a sec. Trainer, right there. Look at that. Okay, so if you talk to this guy, he's like, man. All right, wait, wait. Hello there, laddie. I've got a deal just for you. I'll let you have a secret Pokemon, a magic card for just 500 Pokemon, Poke Dollars. So you'll buy it. Am I right? Sure, why not? Who doesn't like other Pokemon, right? And yes, we bought ourselves a Magikarp. That just adds to our Pokedex right there. So there we go, Magikarp's uh, data has been added. And famous for being unreliable, it can be found swimming in seas, lakes, rivers, and shallow puddles. You tucked, uh, yeah, we put them in our Pokebox and all that stuff. So, that is that right there, and, well, let's see, I think if you talk to this individual, when you try to catch a Pokemon, yeah, you sometimes get, get a, ring, a green ring, yeah? That kind of Pokemon is easy to catch, yeah? It's the, it's, if it's rings yellow, it's a bit harder, yeah? And if it's red ring, yeah, the Pokemon might be hard to catch, yeah. Okay, well, whatever, and let's see, young, Jigglypuff makes me sing and drowsy, me too, huh. 
Okay, well, I don't think there's much... Yeah, okay, I have... I got all my Pokeballs on my belt. One, two, three, four, five, and six! Yep, that'll do it. No matter how many Pokemon you have in your Pokebox, you can take... You can only take six into battle. True, very, very true. Okay, so... This is pretty much it for this episode. Off screen, I am going to capture some more Pokemon and then be on my way to Mount Moon. And yeah, it has been very nice using my support trainer right here. It's pretty cool, very, very cool, and it actually helped me out. Might be using this support trainer for like long episodes, such as, you know, Silph Co., Rock Tunnel, and all that stuff. So put her back in her box. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.